was lightly defended at that time. The first attack uh, on the 7th, it was lightly defended. Machine guns along the front edge of the wood um, opened up and started to decimate. Once those guns had started to fire, these ones over on the right hand side started to open up and they were ripped hip and thigh all the way along and fell like tin pots on a wall down to the ground. They were by that time 300 yards away from the edge of the wood line. That is a massive distance when you are being pinned down by machine gun fire. There is nothing you can do. They had a creeping barrage. Those on the left fell into that creeping barrage. They'd never used a creeping barrage before and had advanced far enough to be caught by the creeping barrage. Those on the right were pinned down and had to be rescued by another barrage that sort of silenced the guns on the right but couldn't do anything with the ones, uh, sorry, guns on the left along the side of the field but could do nothing about the ones on the right. So as they made their withdrawal back through the shell hole, they were taken out by these again. At about 4.15 uh, on that day, on the 7th, they decided enough was enough and they were to pull back and another uh, covering barrage allowed them to pick up their wounded and their dead and get back over this hill again. So having gone 300 yards, 400 yards forward, they were now trekking back over the same ground, carrying more than when they got there, back to a position that was very, very close to being overrun by the Germans from over on the right. So at that time, they'd gained no ground, nothing at all. So that was it until just before the 10th of July. And at the 10th of July, a new plan was hatched. Major General Ivor Phillips was sacked at uh, the divisional headquarters and a new plan was hatched for the attack on the 10th. The attack on the 10th was to start at the same time. Nothing was changed. The only difference in the plan for the 10th is that this time there would be more troops involved. And on the 10th, we had five battalions in the line. On the left, the 16th Royal Welsh Fusiliers. On the 14th, in the centre, the 14th Welsh. And on the right, the 13th Welsh. That was considerably more troops than they'd used in the first attack. It was difficult to organise, and again, the plan didn't get back to the troops until very, very late the evening before plan had slightly changed. There was reserves attached to each of the battalions, or each of the brigades. They had to be brought up from another reserve position further back, which slowed down, slowed down the operations for the attack. So again, they were on the back foot, ready to go into battle the next day. Again the next day, when they left their starting lines, all of the battalions left at different times. The reason being that those that were on this side had on this side had further to travel than those who were on the left hand side. So at 4.30, or sorry, at 4.12, the troops from this side came over the hill again, back down into the dip. The attack on the left, left flank, didn't start till 4.30. So these guys were already in, engaged with the enemy by the time these troops actually left their, left their positions and went over the top, right down the very left hand side of where we are there. 4.15am they all left into, uh, into position and on the left it was very successful. But again on the right they encountered the problems because they had the added effect of enfilade fire from the right hand side. This time though they got a little bit further and the attack on the left being more successful, they were allowed to turn right and start to bring out some of these positions that the Germans had on the uh, leading edge of the wood. So that was more successful. They consolidated themselves in the wood and when the guys on the right hand side here had finally got into the wood and consolidated themselves, there was a pause. That pause was to allow an artillery barrage to take out some German positions on the far side of the wood. They were worried about a counter-attack. German lines were just up here on the right. It was very, very easy for them to get into the right-hand side of the wood and reinforce those, um, those positions that they already had in there. So, once they consolidated themselves, they decided that they needed a jumping off trench. They needed a trench that was dug all the way to the end that they could bring the reinforcements and troops in and bolster up their defences. While they were doing that, they were spotted by a, 